Last year, this island saw visitors for the first time in almost 20 years. Walkers welcomed many old friends and brand new ones too. This year, we're ready to do it all again. When I walk to the top of the hill, see a full marina. I can't help but cry. There is truly no better sight in the world than a full marina. At Walker's Cave. I have been coming to this island since I was 12 years old. It didn't take me long to realize the rich history it has here. When I bought this island in 2018, I fulfilled a lifelong dream. The goal is not only to preserve the memories I made over those years, but to make new ones and to give others the opportunity to do the same. As we go through this process, it has become clear to me, we aren't just rebuilding an island, we're reviving a legend. Uh, welcome to our second annual Marlin Tournament. Yeah. It's good to see some old faces from last year. I think we have 20 boats and it's good to see some new faces from this year. Some really neat people are here, so, so thank you for that. Probably the best view of my life is behind you there. Uh, to see that freaking marina full after everything we've been through out here uh, is tremendous. So I, I could stare at it all day. Matter of fact, I went up on the hill like I did last year. Almost started crying when I saw everybody here. So, so thank you for being here all of And as I did in the beginning, I'd like to welcome the most legendary fisherman here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Billy Black. Please stand up, Billy. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> We're gonna put the friggin' right there, friggin'. That's, that's Annie Kate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a little dolphin. You know how many marlin eat dolphins? Oh, that's all they eat. Every, yeah, pretty much. After Mr. Allen's speech last night, everybody's looking for that, you know, thousand pounder, and everybody can't wait to get out there and make it happen. It's going to be a good time.
We're ready, buddy. We're ready to go. We're gonna get some fish, get some points today. Looking forward to it. Blue Marlins like hors d'oeuvres. Good luck. Catch him up. Okay, let's see if she'll run. I know, but I want to make sure. <laughs> you never know, it's a boat. Right, Duchess? Good morning, Radio Check 7-1. Good luck to everyone out there. Catch him up. I think we're going to have a blessing of the fleet coming up. Stand to buy. How are you doing, brother? Fresh out of bed. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this day and the many blessings that you bestow upon us all. Amen. Thank you, Annie Amen. Kate. God speed you all. Love this southeast wind, man. This little bit of wind picked up is going to help the fishing a lot. Although it wasn't bad yesterday, a lot of boats seen fish. You know what my grandma said? She says it's like the old woman that peed in the sea. She said she was trying to drown her husband, and she said every little bit helps. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the second annual Walker's Key Invitational. I'm Captain Ian here on the frigate. We got the Allen boys, Katie and Colin. We're just leaving, the, getting out going right of the channel. Chasing Blue Marlins, it's a beautiful day and let's see what we can do, see if we can find a few. So good luck to everybody and let's have a great day. 10 seconds. 10, nine, Five. eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, hit it! Lions in the water! Go get them, big dog! Go get them, 694! Got a frigate bird dead ahead and a bunch of little birds here. Oh man, it gotta be a blue marlin in me. Look at that, James. It looks fishy. It looks a little fishy. Why don't you get down there? I'm gonna get it up. Get your ass down there, boy. Yeah, boy, on the flat, right? Yeah, left flat, very light drag. So when he eats it, he can turn his head. Very, just long enough that the line won't go out. And right on that 1,500 foot curve. It goes from 1,500 to 2,500 right here. We got the sun on our side. We won't be blinding the fish to see the bait. Got a lot of bait on the, on the depth sounder. Absolutely gorgeous day. Purple water, royal blue water, it's a gorgeous day. That's the big six. Release the blue marlin. I got the big six. Release the blue marlin. Congratulations. Uh, big six. They got you at 826. Congratulations. 
Okay, thanks, Billy. How do they know it's me? I ain't even saying Duchess. Anyway, I'm gonna write a book one day, just do stories. All the stories of walkers over the years, you know? They did a beautiful book, a big, we call it the Bible, big, big beautiful book, we love it. Yeah, I think everybody is really enjoying this. I mean, this place is first class now. As soon as we get restaurants and a few villas, a hotel, this place is gonna, you know, it's gonna be like Chub Key. Very, you know, five star, good food. I mean, every, everything is gonna be right. Carl Allen is one, one guy that's gonna do it right. You know, he's got, now he's got big floating docks. He, we've got, you know, everything is top notch. Water, he's putting in new generators with special fuel, no longer diesel. I think he's using natural gas or something like that. And he's got all these new style generators. He's making this island first class. He's a first class gentleman, he really is. They just found a, a big old slab of uh, silver on one of the wrecks here off Walker's. Uh, the, uh, yesterday, matter of fact, we were looking at it last night at the cocktail party. If you had another 99 years, what would you be doing at Walker's? I'd be fishing, diving, enjoying life, teaching people the good things about the island, you know, helping the people in Grand Key like Carl does. Boy, he, he after the Hurricane Dorian, and he just he hauls so much supplies, fuel, gas, oil, food, water, everything, generators over to the island and he rebuilt Grand Key, Little Grand Key. He, he got him a water, water maker over there, he got him a generator. He's just the nicest guy you ever want to meet. He even uh, donated a generator to my friend down in uh, Orchid Bay in Guana Cay. He, he sent a big generator down there, a barge, sent a barge down there. They had no power, no water, and they sent a big generator down there where they could make water. Dorian was a bad storm. It set over the Bahamas for 36 hours. Mackie, what do you got there? It looks like a white. Yeah. Or a little blue. Don't jerk too much. Hey, hey, hey. If you can whine, don't jerk. Kendall, you got him on little mama. Wine steady. Level wine. You got, got her level wine. Duchess committee boat. We just released the real pretty white marlin. Four, three, two, one. We did the best we could, boys. We're heading back to Walker's now. Yep. So we're here at the end of the day, day one. Very exciting, getting ready to go up and check the fleet up with the Icon and the, that iconic shot coming in. But uh, we have almost matched uh, the whole tournament last year on day one here. So it's gonna be a neat, you can hear the horn going off, uh, lots of flags coming in, beautiful weather out here. My God, the, it's just wonderful. Looking out for us today. Here he comes, come on, get your pants down. Go! Give it to him. <laughs> Carl's having too much fun up there, man. He's sitting in the window waving out. 
Jimmy just shot him a big moon. <laughs> That's funny. Congratulations. Exactly. First swipe, Marlon, little mama, too. Yeah, I caught it on little mama. Yeah, little mama. She deserved it. She's initiated now, officially a Marlon girl. That's good. We'll get her a big one tomorrow. We're gonna make her top lady angler. Refresh. <laughs> Walker's K 2022 here on the Blue Angel. We got our, Thank you. most of us on the boat got our first slam today in the Bahamas, which is uh, a pretty magical thing. Most of us have been watching Walk Walker K Chronicles since we were kids. So it was a, it was a pretty special day on the, the Blue Angel here. Uh, we like our position. We're, uh, I don't know if we're, I, don't, I don't know where we ended up. We might be second or third place. Uh, and uh, we, like, we like our spot. We think we're, uh, we're in there, so who knows? Anything can happen. Yeah, so we started hot this morning, got one on about 8, 825, got it in by 826. Then we didn't get another one until uh, late in the afternoon, so first hour, last hour type of day. It's a good day. Owen Van Bever, Big Stick, Swanee, Georgia. Earl Bird the third. Uh, we're from Key Largo. The boat's out of Victoria, Texas. It's called the Mine Time. Uh, we had a decent day. Uh, we caught a sailing fish right there out of the gate. Came up about 8.30, uh, caught him on the right long there. Miss Whitney caught him. And then uh, we had a window shop in Blue Marlin. Came up on the short, just checked it out and left. And then uh, we pulled off a white marlin later in the day. So, saving up all the good luck for later in the tournament. Jim Jensen, uh, owner of a boat called Plain Simple. It was an awesome day. We uh, went, went one for eight. We caught one uh, white, and uh, we missed eight, eight other fish and saw a lot of fish. Caught a nice wahoo, and uh, it was a great day. Great conditions. I'm Dennis, Dennis Thies. Uh, the name of the boat's High Life. We're from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Um, and we got a crew of about seven. And we had a great day out there. I was so proud of, uh, uh, you know, Alan, Alan and his wife, Gigi, when, uh, when they undertook this project, not believing that it would ever really come to fruition. And here we are. You know, and like I told them this morning, uh, last night, walking down the dock. I remind me of uh, the late 70s, early 80s. It was deja vu all over again. It was spectacular. And, uh, I can see it's going to be another night just like that, and it looks like another great tournament. I'm Paul Alderman. I run the El Casador from Stewart, Florida. We saw two blue ones. We caught two blue ones. Can't complain. Any day you catch two blues in the Bahamas is a good day. Uh, Skip Dana, the boat is surreal, and uh, we're out of Lighthouse Point, Florida. Today we were uh, one for one on blues caught a tuna and that was pretty much it. Well, I was just excited to see, uh, you know, the legend of walkers reborn for the most part. You know, I fished here my whole life from the time I was about 15 until, well, I don't know, when it shut down 15, 16 years ago. So I fished here my whole life and uh, it's just nice to see it back. Well, my name's Bo Jennings. The boat is called the Rainmaker and the boat fishes out of Hillsborough Inlet in Florida. Uh, today we caught uh, two whites in a sail and we missed another sail and uh, yeah it was good we caught two whites pretty early and then didn't see much till like the afternoon and we caught it had a double head on sails missed one and caught the other one and uh, yeah and, and saw there was quite a few blue melon caught around us as well today so fortunately we didn't raise one hopefully tomorrow we get to see ya. Uh, my name is Jimmy Fields I'm from uh, Palm Beach Gardens Florida and I'm fishing on the real pushy here with Captain Chris Larkman uh, we had a great day today we Actually, uh, we had a couple bites in the morning, we didn't stay connected, and this afternoon we caught a couple blue marlins. The uh, most exciting one being uh, at 3.54 we hooked one, with uh, obviously lines out at 4 o'clock, so at 3.54 I hooked one and um, caught him and 
pretty nice fish, but not big enough to kill, but it, it was exciting. It gave us our second one for the day. You know, you catch two blue marlins, it's always a good day in the Bahamas, uh, in any tournament, actually. So hopefully, uh, we can catch a couple more tomorrow and get right up here, but feeling pretty good about our chances. Uh, you know, a lot of us didn't catch much today, so pretty good. I feel pretty good with two. Yeah, Walker's is a special place, man. I buried two of my dogs. I buried Huggy Bear. I buried Littlefoot's ashes, Huggy Bear's ashes. My wife, Allison, her ashes. She got killed in a car accident in 02. We were getting ready to do the Walker's tournament. And she had gone to Miami to, or Palm Beach to pick up our daughter, my, my you know, stepdaughter. And all along the way, she got hit hit by a truck and she got killed. Nobody else got hurt. The kids didn't get hurt. But I lost her. But we we buried their ashes off Walker's Key and someday, someday when I go, I want my ashes here too. But I ain't in a hurry. <laughs> Like the old song, everybody want to go to heaven, but nobody want to go now. Kenny Chesney. <laughs>